Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the VW Nut 1967 channel. Underneath Walt in that lovely uh, 70s material right there is the uh, engine that we were working on today. That is the uh, fuel-injected 1600 for the 69 Fastback that uh, we have as a winter project. Uh, in today's episode, we, uh, we have the shop apprentice learning about how works the intake of the Volkswagen how to put the intake correctly on the Volkswagen um, and the difference between fuel injected and carbureted. So I'm going to do my best to narrate over the work that uh, we did. We had the music going and the heat going in the shop while he was working um, in here, but I'll be able to narrate over the clips and uh, we'll also have a little bit of Hazy Days music. Uh, if you enjoy that, great. All right, so I'm just pulling uh, the injectors out of the uh, intake manifolds right here. Uh, they're going to end up at the wire wheel here in just a second, so you'll see. So we're just a couple of 10 millimeters uh, and then take the injectors out. Time goes so fast, but the memories last Just to help you through the day Thinking of you and the things that you do And all the things that you would say Helping me out. I believe this is the three and four side intake uh, on the um, getting the wire wheel treatment on the drill press. All my thoughts were in doubt You'd never let me down My strength and my soul Without you I'm not whole Whoa, how I miss you now You gotta take your time Think about what yours and mine You need to just Right here we were learning about, uh, after we learned about uh, clean surfaces, proper gaskets, gasket alignment, uh, we learned about tight is tight, too tight is loose again, um, how tight is tight enough, and uh, then we moved on to the other side. And why are wheeling the one and two side of the intake? That's a number one and number two cylinder. Or if you're looking at the engine from the back, it is the um, right side. Your best. And time will take care of the rest. You've got no worries to hold. You're just feeling cold. And if you're not happy with things... A little better look at uh, some of the gasket and gasket alignment procedures. You must speak out loud and challenge a crowd. Live life with passion, stand up and be proud. I can't explain just how love turns to pain, but I know in my heart that it do. So this I'm saying now before I'm away, I was never tired. All right, right here is probably some uh, explanation about the com different combustion chambers and the uh, the air mixing situation that we're sitting on right there and how that works and how we're waiting on the rubbers to come in to make that a complete unit and how carbureted and fuel injection is different. Love loving you, helping me out while my thoughts were in doubt. Never let me down. Now a little further explanation about the injectors and how the injectors and where they go and how they fit on. Uh, we'll have him put that, the shop apprentice ends up putting the injectors uh, back in their place. My strength and my soul, without you I'm not whole. Whoa, how I miss you now. You gotta take your time. Think about what's yours and mine. You need to just do your best. Knocking the crud off of the uh, generator strap. And time will take care. A little explanation about uh, the generator and how it's different from an alternator. And when you're setting it here on the pancake motor to make sure that you're uh, 
belt alignment is good and how on this particular generator there were some witness marks to go by. You've got no worries to hold, you're just feeling cold. And if you're not happy with things that you're told, you must speak out loud and challenge a crowd. Live life with passion, stand up and be proud. As the years pass and the cold turns to glass, there's so much you will learn. So give life a shout every time you go out Cause someday you will not return Cease to exist like a midsummer's mist Rolling in off the shore You're starting to cry Cause you don't want to die But you don't want to live anymore You gotta take your time Think about what's yours and mine to just do your best And I will take care of the rest You've got no worries to hold You're just feeling cold And if you're not happy with things that you're told You must speak out loud and challenge a crowd Live life with passion, stand up and be proud All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. I think the shop apprentice, I think he did a fantastic job uh, learning about how this fuel injected intake works and getting it on. Uh, we do still have to get the uh, rubbers for here. And uh, what else do we need? I ordered a new, on eBay, a new um, header for this was $89, no shipping. So that's on its way, but for now, since we're going to move on to the metalwork with this car, we're just going to take this beautiful, this lovely piece of material right here and just protect, just protect this engine. Protect this engine just like that and uh, move the broom. Oh, carefully move the broom. Hit you guys with the broom. Sorry for that, you guys. And we'll just uh, go ahead and leave that as she sits for right now in the corner. Uh, I'll probably put some bounce under there. Uh, that's what I used. You guys use whatever you want to keep the rodents away. I use bounce um, in the cars and in uh, in uh, anything that we're going to leave sit for a while. Just a couple of sheets of bounce. I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, so just a couple, you know, just a couple of sheets of regular old bounce, and um, just make sure that they're under here. The rest of the stuff and that will keep that protected from the animals and from the mice. Uh, let me show you guys outside. You guys know that just a couple days ago we were driving the 64. We've been driving the 64 and the 67, and and now they've salted my roads again. Well, there you go fresh inch of snow topped with some rain overnight. Wonderful. It's part of living here. Uh, if you see way out there, you can't really see it, but we did tuck the bugs back away in the green box. Uh, they're okay for right now. Anyway, we'll go see what patina, you can see patina tracks if you're really looking close. All right, so that's what it looks like when the battery dies. But anyway, I was saying you can see some of patina's tracks out there. Um, and a uh, fresh half inch of snow inch maybe it's got some wet uh wet rain on top of it rain for the next couple of days uh we did manage to get some snowboarding done behind the uh honda car in the yard earlier after the shop apprentice was done with uh putting the rest of the engine together so uh special sh thanks to the uh the shop apprentice for uh helping change the um oh what's the word helping change the I know I know the word. I'll bring you back when I remember the word. Welcome to life with Brian. Helping change the stigma of his generation to come out, actually get his hands dirty, not sit in front of the computer and the video games, actually come outside and do some things. Um, 
we encourage that here at the VW Nut Garage. Uh, you want to come out here and put engines together, put cars together, like we're all for it. Uh, happy to share everything we got uh, as far as getting outside and doing things. So special thanks to him for helping erase the stigma of his generation and uh, making the future better for, uh, for us when we get old. Uh, and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of days. Cruise inside, Let's see if we can't find out what Patina's doing. Well, you can see that uh, Patina figured out what to do with her rainy day, snowy, rainy day. So uh, she's back on hibernation status. No riding around or anything today, just hibernating. Yeah, it's just talking about she's making you grumpy, huh? Anyway, we'll leave her alone and uh, we will see you guys in a couple of days.